Remember when Spain was the most dominant power in the Western Hemisphere? This was them in 1790. A hundred years later, not so much. And revolutionaries in Cuba wanted to be added to the list of former colonies in 1895, but Spain was having none of it. Enter General Valeriano Weiler, the governor of Cuba tasked with crushing the rebellion. He's perhaps best known for his reconcentration camps, but like any M. Night Shyamalan film, his came with a twist. I see dead people. He didn't detain rebels or undesirables. His camps detained the Cuban people. 1.5 million Cubans, one third of the population, were at gunpoint forced to abandon their homes for these camps that, surprise, had inadequate food, inadequate supplies, inadequate housing, medical treatment, basically everything. And 400,000 Cubans died, earning Weiler the nickname The Butcher. Who gave him this name? These guys, American newspaper publishers like Joseph Pulitzer and his New York World and William Randolph Hearst and his New York Journal. And these guys hated each other just as much as they loved selling papers using yellow journalism or sensationalism and crude exaggeration.